Robin, and I have five kids, ages seven, five, three and a half, two, and five months. We have been a part of the GDA family since my oldest started kindergarten in 2019. This year, I will have a second grader, a first grader, and a pre-K three student, and my youngest two babies will still be at home with me. If you see me coming and going around campus, please stop me, introduce yourself, say hello. Um, I'm certain to have little ones with me, but I would love to meet you and get to know you. Being a part of the GDA family. So when I started, I was very scared and nervous. My oldest child was gonna be in kindergarten and like, we're gonna do this, let's, let's go. We're, we're starting real school now. And I was very worried about my ability to handle it all. Um, as a former teacher, I taught high school math. And as a former teacher, I was determined that this was going to go right. And by right, I meant it was gonna look like how I thought it should look. And it was gonna go the way I felt like it should go at home. And boy, did I have some things to learn. God really opened my eyes to show me that I would be learning from those home days as well, not just my kids. One of the first things I learned really quickly was that my identity is not tied up in my child's performance in their schoolwork. And there is so much grace in that, and it is an ongoing process. With each kid, it's almost like I have to relearn that again. I also discovered that sometimes my kids are gonna be the ones who tell me we need a change. We need to do something different or however I'm going about our home days maybe isn't working like it was in the beginning. And so I have learned to take cues from my kids as well on the rhythm of our home days and how things are going. I hoped my kids would be loved by their teachers and well cared for, especially since I'm going to put them in someone else's care for two whole days a week. And I was overwhelmingly relieved and surprised and overjoyed that these teachers not only loved my child, um, they loved my whole child, their character, um, their improvement, their growth, the areas they needed to grow in, and then they bestowed that love and grace on me as well. So they were there to help me when I was having a bad day. You could see on my face when I walked in and they're there to pat you on the back, to give you a hug. They're there to say hi to you just as much as your children. Now they do have to get going on their own school day and their lesson plans for the day, but man, it has been overwhelmingly good for my family to experience just the loving kindness from all of the educators at GDA. So I wanna be sure to say, welcome to GDA. We are so happy that you're here and we are so glad to get an opportunity to love and support you and your whole family throughout this part of your educational journey. Now I am not here to give you all the answers to school at home days or classical education, far from it. I am still learning and growing myself. Like I said, my oldest is only going to be in second grade. So this is an ongoing process, but I hope that you're willing to learn and grow with me to provide valuable feedback and to really um, sharpen each other as we commit to our children's education. What I am hoping will come out of these videos is some hands-on practical tips for your home days, encouragement, from me and other moms and stories from around GDA and suggestions for optional literature, podcasts, resources that can help you with whatever you may be interested in, whether that is um, improving on your teaching skills at home, whether that is setting up a homeschool schedule that works for you because we are homeschool moms two days a week. And then also even just learning more about classical education and what is it and who is Charlotte Mason. I'm hoping to do all of these things through these videos, but please forgive me if I don't always get it perfect. Some topics I'm hoping to include are first day plans. The teachers have planned their first day. Have you planned yours? And then sowing seeds, developing the right habits at home, and then also literature, memory work, what to do if it turns out to be not what you thought it was gonna be, um, as far as modifying for your child, flexibility, brain breaks, motivation, just a whole toolbox of topics that we would love to touch on as a start off point. Obviously, always check in with your teacher, let them know if you're having any questions or concerns at home, they're always your, your best resource to go to, but hopefully we can offer up some ideas. Now, every child is different and every family is different. Every home looks different on their home days. So what might work for one family will 
maybe not always work for another family. The idea is to have a bunch of resources to try things on and decide, does this work for me or does it not? And then, and then if not, we'll keep searching and find something else that might work better for your students. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you around and that everyone has a fabulous first day of school and a great beginning to their school year.